afternoon we welcome to morning edition of the sport update the home of sport where we give you all the latest gist in the world of sports i am sally from Usman, and i'll be joined with my I'll be joined by my colleague from the united kingdom for lawale ayani good afternoon Wale. hello Wale, you can hear good afternoon yeah good afternoon i can hear you how are you doing Sorry, cool. thank you yeah. Well, the, we start from the home front where the Super Ego of Nigeria are already currently in camp to testify their preparations for the all important African Cup of Nations qualifier against Guinea Bissau. As according to the media, also of the team, Raji Babaji, they say at the moment only nine players are currently in camp and they are in Abuja when they are expected to take on their Guinean counterpart, Guinea Bissau counterpart, on Friday. Wale and the players in the team in the players in the camp, according to Rajib A, uh, goalkeeper Francis Joho, uh Shijo Shijo Shijoki, are the latest players to have arrived in Super Eagle and then by swelling the number of the player in the camp to nine players. These nine players, the six uh, the six other players that arrived in the camp earlier. Uh, uh, earlier are uh, Sami uh, Sami Ajaye, Ale Alessi Wobi Kilishi Henasho, uh, Kevin Apo Uma and there. Uh, and Moses Simon, Moses Simon. Well, looking at it, look at looking at this team. Uh, obviously, uh, most of our player play at the weekend, and uh, by now to this Monday, we have the match on Friday, and uh, this now out of twenty-four player, we have we just have only a, a part of just nine player in the camp. You, did this yes. anyone send any sign or any signal to worry about, or we still have time to uh, the player to arrive? Uh, of course, uh, no doubt about it. Uh, it's a big game, uh, Nations Cup qualifier, and uh, we know that, uh, as we have said, uh, major players actually play during the weekend, and uh, they are expected, you know, to uh, to come into uh, Nigeria, you know, later today. Of course, most of the players will actually get to hit the camp by tomorrow, uh, which is Tuesday. Uh, but uh, today, you should have. You know, some players get to arrive in camp at this point. And when you look at a couple of players who have arrived in Nigeria already, they are the uh, uh, they are the English Premier League base players. So it will actually take uh, enough time for other players uh, to actually you know come into camp. Victor Seba was in action for Napoli just yesterday. He scored you know uh, goals in that particular match. So you should expect him. Uh, you should expect him to actually you know rest yesterday and ensure that he gets to make the trip today or tomorrow. So uh, that should not be a concern. You know, for uh, and Nigerians at this point in time, yes, no doubt about it. Guinea Bissau, uh, we know we actually played them in the last Nations Cup. It's not going to be an easy game, uh, but we're actually playing them in uh, in Abuja, right there in front of home crowd, uh, which you know promises uh, to be very you no know, match watching the counter. But we should not take anything away from that. We should actually put all our best leg. I will ensure that uh, we get to win. You know, if we can win the double header, it means that. Uh, we can actually get to progress uh, to the nation's cup. He's not done and dusted yet, but uh, to actually you know solidify you know, Nigerian chances of you know getting to qualify uh, for the nation's cup. So we should expect more players to arrive in camp later today and tomorrow also. For, uh, Salifu. Okay, this particular match, this is must be, this is must be taught. Uh, so uh, the first two legs have been played, the first two match have been played, and uh, out of the first two matches, Super Ego were able to win two out of two. Win beating a place as of Tommy and then and 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 the, the, the uh, Sierra Road. Now, the mm -hmm. match against uh, Guinea Bissau on Friday, and then the second leg is a double header. The second leg will be uh, next week, Monday, next week, Monday in Guinea Bissau. And looking at this two match, and currently, somebody is talking the talking the lot with 66 points. And we expect that if they are able to get the two win out of this two match, they automatically definitely qualify them for half of which they have come. Next, I'll have to to You have a you have assurance belief that based on the support on the, on the performance of the super ego, just like you right, let's see, uh, the man of the moment, uh, uh, Victor Simbe, back in the place and uh, back in the place like yesterday against uh, uh, Torino and uh, standing their lead on top of the Serie A to keep one point. And looking at that with the Simbe and the like of super ego, who are uh, some of the other people are viewing, they will have all it takes to get to be out of these two matches. Of course, uh, it's of, of, of course it's possible. When when you look at uh, uh, the informed striker of Victor Semer having scored uh, 
uh, 20 goals in Italian Serie A uh, just alone. You know, in this season, it shows that uh, he's on fire. Don't forget the likes of Akeleti in Atua has not been playing badly for Leicester. He has uh, scored some couple of goals this season. Also, looking at uh, uh, Lukman, who plays for Atlanta in Italy, also uh, has scored about, you know, about 13 league goals, uh, if I'm not mistaken, in Italy. Also, looking at our strikers uh, in France and also our midfielder, Kiwobi has been playing week in, week out for Everton. He's been one of the solid, you know, players and I get uh, know, to future for Everton at this point in time. In fact, uh, indeed, he was... Uh, was away for some weeks, but he's back now in Leicester City, and uh, he has been absolutely been doing well. So when you look at our players, you know, uh, by and large, um, they have actually you know, improved, you know, this season. I think you know them not going to the World Cup has actually you know, kicked in, and uh, they, are, they they want to actually you know, you know, repair Nigeria uh, with a uh, with a with a with a good performance. So as it is now, all our players. Uh, in, in 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 abroad, they're actually you know, playing well, playing well in, around Europe. And we should ensure not we should ensure nothing less than a victory in these two leather game. No, no doubt about it. It's going to be difficult. There's no more minors. You know, there are no more minors when it comes to football in Africa. But when you look at you know the quality uh, that uh, Joseph Pusero has is in Arsenal now, I feel he can actually get to win you know the two leather games. But uh, distraction uh, for me in uh, the camp at this point in time. I don't know if you can confirm that news. Uh, what I'm hearing is that. Uh, 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 Fini the job that Nikkei Shiromo has been, you know, asked to leave, you know, the Super Eagles camp uh, that uh, they will not be in action, they will not be, you know, uh, standing uh, with uh, the coach uh, during the match. If you want to actually get to clarify that for us, but what I'm hearing now uh, is that uh, uh, both, you know, uh, ex Nigeria International has been asked, you know, to leave uh, the Nigerian Super Eagles. Well, uh, we find, we'll find out from, we'll find out and we'll get to know about that if that happened, that would be another. Uh, Big distraction for the team. Then Guinea, Guinea is why I started to arrive in Nigeria on when on Wednesday, about two days to the match. And uh, while Guinea is the last time the Super Eagles and Nigeria, Super Eagles and Guinea Bissau play was at the last African Cup of Nation, at the last African Cup of Nation in Cameroon. In, in, the, in the final group match, we win Super Eagles trial was 2 0. And then don't forget that they say they have most of the Villa National Stadium is still under a suspension. They have definitely, and because of that, there's not too much noise. About how to say start or to create awareness to ensure that Super Ego enjoy the uh, enjoy the team, enjoy, enjoy the support of their team fans. No, that definitely Super Ego are going to play without having the support of their team fans because due to what happened uh, the, uh, during the last World Cup qualifier match at the Vienna National Stadium when the the, the fans invaded the, the pitch and of course uh, some chaos. So because of that, the, the stadium is still under a spell. Uh, the match will be closed. We we'll play under a closed door. So. You will think that that will definitely have this challenge or can I get the Super Eagles and openly give uh, Guinea Bissau uh, some of the level opportunities to, to create some, from, to, play, to try to play a certain, certain play a certain offset. Of course, uh, you're playing uh, with your home friends and supporting you. What can you get uh, to change, you know, uh, the dynamism of the game? And now they are not they are not going to be supporting you due to the ban. Uh, for me, I feel it's going to affect the team one way or the other, the performance, and it's going to actually you know be a moral booster uh, for Guinea Bissau due to the fact that there will be no crowd to actually you know get to cheer the Super Eagles. So it's like a blessing in disguise uh, for you know Guinea Bissau. But I feel you know uh, the Super Eagles of Nigeria can actually you know uh, take that to the advantage also. And they should make a bold statement uh, 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 to the football nation across the world and tell them, even despite we are not playing with our fans, uh, we can still go all the way, you know, to win games. I think if they can able to do that, I think that that will be very, very much welcome uh, for our uh, Super Eagles at this point in time because uh, a win in the two-legged game will actually get to seal, you know, Nigerian qualification uh, to uh, the Nations Cup. So uh, it will actually get. Uh, uh, to bring down the morale of the players, but the players can use that as a as a morale booster also uh, for them to you know uh, ensure that even though without the fans, they will able, they can able to you know pull out an impressive performance against Guinea Bissau. Well, away from the Super Eagles camp, but still we think we are still staying with the national team, the national nation under 23 team, uh, the one we call Olympic Eagles, the dream team. Who we'll also be taking in on another, another, the, the, the Guinean counterpart on Wednesday at the same stage at the Mushuda Dola National Stadium. And one of the invited players, Gibbs Urban, who play in the Belgian League for James, uh, the guy has been fired from Australia back in, uh, Hattrick, just like Haaland, but not in the status of Haaland, but he has also been back in uh, Hattrick. 
And we one of the as a, one of the invited players, but up till now we heard from the coach, Consalis Lusu, that, that his club then are yet to respond to the invitation, invitation, the invitation sent to the players. And we just two days to the match. What hmm. do this, what does it mean for the dream teams? Of course, uh, Salifu uh, is a difficult situation uh, for players in Europe at this point in time because uh, uh, the league is gradually coming to an end and uh, most managers would not want to allow their players uh, to go and play you know, for their respective country due to the fact that they have been scared of them not getting to pick up you know, injury in international matches. We saw how you know, the likes of Victor Semehai picked up you know, uh, during the international you know, uh, campaign for Nigeria. And we saw how you know, Napoli reacted, you know, uh, to that particular situation. And also, uh, talking about uh, this particular player, he was able to score 20 goals uh, for his club last season. This season also, he has scored, you know, five goals, scored, you know, three goals in the Conference League. So you see, he's a, he's a, he's a kind of star, you know, player for his team at this point in time. And since he's not like the Olympic proper, he's like a qualifier, I feel maybe the coach uh, will, will not want to actually get to release them but also uh we have to look at what fifa says when it comes to you know players you know going to play for the country uh, i i feel at this point in time uh the coach has to do what is uh you no know, needful and let's have you know uh, players actually you know come uh to represent nigeria 16 players has been actually been invited uh by salisu yusuf uh, it shows that uh we still actually bank on foreign players rather than we are having you know putting our local players in shape at this point in time so Looking at this situation, this calls for why our, our own local coaches should ensure that uh, uh, they keep eye on our local players to ensure that uh, if those players get to disappoint them, if those teams refuse, you know, to let uh, those players come for you know international games like this, then we should have a backup, you know, our plans that we're able to you know have players in the local league who will be uh, ready and be you know match fit uh, for them to you know execute. Uh, those matches and get uh, the needed you know, result up on Nigeria. So I feel uh, not a good one, but at this point in time, we can still use that one. We can still use this situation to explore, you know, on our local players and let's see what they bring to the table. Salifo. You hear from Wally there, and that's a good advice. That is always, almost time we always say that the local coaches who always try to have their green lights on the local players. It's not, it's not, it's not every every competition you like to depend on the foreign player in case of a situation like this. Of, we believe that, that this is in the local players are also doing well. Even uh, the Super Eagles, look at the Super Eagles, these people have also criticized. The percent of also told the line of general, all, all invited players are all 90 percent of the squad are all for the except the goalkeeper, except the goalkeeper, goalkeeper from the uh, River United that make the squad. This is not well for the team and for of, the local. Of, of, but we'll be going for a short break at the moment. Just hold your thought that we'll be going for a short break at the moment when you come back. Then the show continues. Don't go anywhere. Last Word Leadership Podcast Studio. You have the last word. Sports Orbit. We make the world go round. Well, 
welcome back from that break. Uh, we still stay on the spot of it, and as it's normally say in the tradition of the English English national team, you know, it has been a very long time the English national team team tasted a trophy, and because of that, any time they have a glimpse of any hope of winning the trophy, they always say it's coming home, like it happened and in 2020 when they get to the final. Then last on Sunday, Arsenal trash. Uh, who will trash uh, 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 Crystal Palace to extend their lead on the top of the table to eight points? And Arsenal, for a very long time now, almost 90 years, are here to test the Premier League title. Wale, is it that going with the tradition that is he now coming home? Is Premier League coming title coming home for Arsenal? Arsenal found mm. eight points lead course, on the top of the table now. Of course, uh, this season, uh, the, what the signal we actually get to see that uh, Arsenal might just that uh, get uh, to win. You know the Premier League. You know when you look at uh, games this season against uh, Manchester United, against Aston Villa, against Bournemouth, against Fulham, uh, they were able to come back to win. You know games in nine minutes. I think a little bit of luck. I are actually in the side of Arsenal at this point in time. When you look at the performance as so far, and again that uh, this you no know, particular win against the Crystal Palace. Again, 4-0, impressive you no know, victory. I was at the stadium yesterday. Uh, the fans uh, were really happy, you know, to see that teams, you know, bounce back after they were actually eliminated, you know, from the Europa League. But at this point in time, we all know that uh, Michael Ateta is actually you know, focused on winning the leagues. And uh, it's just 10, go 10, 10 games, you know, to go for Arsenal at this point in time. And Arsenal are looking forward to those 10 games. And they're saying uh, these 10 games are like uh, 10, you know, a Champions League final. They want to pull up, you know, their best into those games. They want to, you know, they are taking it a game at a time at this point in time. They are playing Leeds City the next game right there at the Emirates Stadium on 1st of April. They want to get the job done, you know, get to beat, you know, Leeds City, you know, just to, you know, to push, you know, their chances. We all know that uh, they still have, you know, three difficult games uh, to play. All the 10 games are difficult, but we know that uh, they still have, like, a three major games and most uh, football pundits have actually pondered out and that might just be uh, those games that will be very difficult for Arsenal if they really want to win. You know, uh, the Premier League. Looking at the game between Chelsea, Manchester United, uh, Manchester City, and also Liverpool, those are tricky games. If Arsenal can avoid defeat against Manchester City right there, you know, at the ATR Stadium, if they can go to Anfield and also avoid, you know, defeat, you know, to Liverpool and also uh, when they go to St James Park, talking about against uh, Newcastle, if they can afford defeat in that particular, you know, in those three games, I feel uh, this season might just be their season, you know, to win at uh, the Premier League, you know, having not won the league in 19, you know, solid years. So I feel uh, this time, is a very, very good time for Arsenal to win the league. But if Arsenal does not even get to win the league at this point, uh, they have been very, very, you know, uh, fantastic, you know, this season so far. You know, uh, of course, they will qualify for the Champions League uh, if all teams, you know, get to go their way, even though they don't get to win the league. But they will actually make it to the you know, Champions League after being out of the Champions League for about five seasons at this point. So, you no, know, them, you know, is a building process. The Ateta has been doing a good work. Even the players themselves, uh, they, are, they, they actually know the passion uh, to play is there. You could see, you know, the players always want to put, you know, their 100%. If you look at when, uh, the likes of Saliba got injured. Uh, Rob Holding, you know, came in uh, to his place and he did a marvelous job against uh, Crystal Palace. So, you see, all the players have been doing well. Uh, you can see Arsenal the season passed uh, during, you know, uh, January, they will have injury problem and that will affect them not getting to finish, you know, the league in a very strong position. But you look at Arsenal this season, a little bit of luck for me is actually running for them. We saw how, you know, uh, uh, Thomas Partey went uh, for an injury almost a month and a half. He came back. You could see, you know, Zizanko also went for an injury almost for, for a month and a half. He came back. Uh, Gabriel Jesus also went for, for, for injury for good, you know, four months. Uh, you know, after the World Cup, uh, he was away and he came back. Now, Edin Ketia has actually gone for his own injury. So, it shows that as a player, as a player is going for an injury, another player is coming back to replace him and they are all bringing their A game. I think that might actually get, you know, to work for uh, Mikel Ateta at this point in time and the players are ready to, you know, uh, to give him their best. Just to let you know, Arsenal has, is the only team that has won nine London derbies in a season and they have done it, you know, at this you know, particular season and it shows that uh, 
everything is working for them. They are eight points clear, you know, going into the national break. They just have just two goals short uh, behind Manchester City, who had 42 goals, and, and Arsenal has 40 goals at this point in time. But don't forget, City still have a game in hand to play. That is uh, uh, when uh, they return, you know, from uh, you know, uh, the... At the international break, City also still have Chelsea, Liverpool to play. Uh, so it's, it's, it's going to be, you know, exciting uh, for the rest of the game of the season. Like I said earlier, 10 finals are with Arsenal. If they can get the job done, then they'll be home and dry uh, to win the league. Yeah, well, when you come to Arsenal, I think you have, a, you, 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 you have additional motivation to speak about Arsenal. But uh, <laughs> just like rightly say, if you look at Arsenal this season, I quite agree with you. It's an element of love for Arsenal. If you recall, when uh, when Liverpool, uh, when Maski, they threw them to the top of the table, and within, within a week, they are able to bounce back to the top of it, regaining the, regaining the lead after Masses Mas is this long. And then, just like you rightly point out, 10 games to go. And if you look at these officials, they have a game against Man City. Man City has a game in hand. They have a game against Man City. They have a game against Liverpool. They have a game against Newcastle. And if you record what happened to last season when Arsenal failed against Newcastle and Tottenham that denied them a qualification to the Champions League. And but Arsenal tradition towards the ending of the season, Arsenal always collapsed. And looking at mm. it now, uh, even uh, Ateta has also said that they uh, cry about the injury problem to have uh, the injury list or the Arsenal team. Oh, currently, according to him, and according that they have only 14 best player playing, playing and a whole lot of players are injured or half fit and got this 10 point 10 matches out of 10 matches the guys start you are talking about 30 points to fight for mm. and just mm. eight points separating them and match the masters have a game in hand and if yes, mm. we can to some extent we can say that Arsenal is relatively safe to play in the national champions league next season but i might have a fear because of Arsenal's tradition of always collapse at the time moment of the minute Of course, you know, the belief is there already, uh, Salifu, at the player at this point in time. I uh, remember Arsenal out from uh, any other competition, I'm talking about the FA Cup, uh, the Europa League. They just have, you know, the Premier League to focus on now. It means that they have enough time for them to rest uh, for uh, before their next game. So they are going to rest the very, very well. And they are going to, you know, gather their energy back. And they are going to come uh, back, you know, uh, into the game with more zeal, uh, with more, you know, uh, more, I mean, more, uh, more passion to play. And the players at this point in time, they want to give that hundred and ten percent. You could see, you know, Martinelli, he actually missed, you know, the goal, uh, the you know, the penalty kick against the Sporting CP, and he came back to score a goal uh, just to prove to Arsenal fans that uh, it was a mistake last time. But now he still he has put that behind him, and they are focused. And you could see, you know, the link on play with it, you know, Saka, Pate, Martin Odiga, um, uh, Martinelli. It shows that uh, they actually get to understand, you know, themselves. And uh, this season, it might just be the season uh, for Arsenal to be in the league. I hope they don't get uh, uh, to bottle it uh, the way they did you know, last season where we were expecting them you know, to make it to the Champions League. But uh, they actually lost focus. But the good thing is that now uh, some of the players, uh, some of the you know, uh, a, a, a class players, are back in the team right about now. Gabriel Jesus also is back, so he add more, you know, dynamism, you know, to the team and more depth to the team. And at this point in time, no doubt about it, Saliba and Tomiyasu will actually, you know, uh, be uh, get to come back before the season. And well, we're not sure about Tomiyasu coming back, but uh, Saliba he might just have to come back, you know, before uh, the season end at this point. Saliba, so it's looking looking good for us now. If they can avoid defeat against, you know, City and Liverpool, I see that they can actually get. Uh, uh, to go through and win the league if all teams you know get to work for them at this point. Thank you. It's looking it's looking good for Arsenal. I will pray that top player like Saka, top player like Saka and the party and the rest stay out of in, in, injury. Yesterday there's mm. another fantastic match that was also playing my so I have the result of other matches that play in the EPS today and the other weekend. Let's look at the result quickly before we move to the FA Cup. Okay and then yesterday the draw for FA Cup was held and then mm. thank God uh, people were expected they uh, may likely have a Manchester derby in the FA Cup final this season after mm. both the Manchester team, United and City, avoided each other in the semi final clash. Now, uh, United are going to likely go, are going to take on Sheffield United one month, uh, take on Sheffield United, and uh, Sheffield United and the derby may be may likely going to have a clash of Manchester derby at the final of the FA Cup. But, however, they still have a uh, semi-final match to, to play. 
But while looking at the that draw yesterday, is it an automatic qualification to have a master that be in the final this year? Of course, it's going to be a tricky one, no doubt about it. Uh, uh, the two Manchester, uh, the two Manchester clubs have been very phenomenal when it comes uh, to uh, uh, in this current season in the FA Cup. We saw how Manchester United won the Carabao Cup, and uh, we saw how you know Manchester City actually you know get uh, to defeat uh, their opponents six one. Uh, Haaland, you know, getting to score hat trick at this point in time. He can't stop scoring. Uh, he has actually scored his six hat trick in the season. He has scored about forty two goals. Uh, uh, in this current season, just the first season, you know, coming into England, and he's actually you no know, bagging in go left, right, and centre. No doubt about it. Manchester United has uh, to face a Brighton. Brighton is a very, very good side uh, this season. Uh, you, you actually saw their game yesterday in, in Fulham. Fulham actually you know, uh, dominated that game from start to finish. It was just you know uh, the red card that actually you know ensured that uh, they didn't get to proceed. Uh, of course, uh, getting to, you know, receive three red cards in less than 40 seconds, it shows that uh, uh, Fulham, they didn't actually you know, get to concentrate in that particular game. Uh, they actually lost it uh, when they actually needed uh, to, you know, bring their focus, you know, to bear in that particular, you know, game. You know, having your coach sent off, your top striker sent off, talking about Mitrovic, Williams also, you know, getting sent off. Uh, for that particular handball, you know, it, it shows that uh, yesterday was just not a good day, you know, for Fulham. But uh, that's aside, Manchester United also, uh, that they've not been playing well. Of course, uh, it's going to be, you know, uh, good uh, that we get to see, you know, a Manchester derby in the final of the FA Cup. But uh, do not write off a Brighton uh, when Manchester United get to face them because they are a very solid, uh, solid team and they are very hungry, you know, to win, you know, our titles. Also, and that match will actually you know, determine if you know, we're going to be a Manchester derby. And we know Man City will face the likes of Sheffield United, and uh, Man City will actually get uh, to pull through in that particular. One. But uh, don't forget, uh, but uh, don't take anything away from our football at this point in time. It's a game of 90 minutes. The pendulum can swing anywhere. It is going, definitely going to be a photo finish. No doubt about it. The uh, Wembley uh, Stadium will definitely get to host, you know, uh, the semi-finals of all those match. Hopefully, I should be there, you know, to catch some of those actions. Well, thank you. <clears throat> Just like say, Sefi United, if my, if if Man City were on uh, uh, but look at Sefi United, that they may be at their own Peru. Likewise, Massa United may also underrate the Britain at their own Peru because those teams can also create an offset. So definitely, it's mm. not automatic ticket for Massa Derby in the final of the cup. That we have come to the end of today's edition of the sport of you it will come your way for another interesting edition tomorrow by that by then we expected that the camp of the supply group may have a full to full capacity will do big review both uh, all and whatever is happening at the camp of the supply group most of it tomorrow wale we thank you for joining me on today's edition of the sport of you thank you salifu for having me in regards to you and to everyone in the studio thank, thank you and then I am Sally Fukusma, and we'll come your way again for another interesting edition of the Sport of You. Thank you for watching. For sponsorship and advert placements, please contact 080-3688-6158. Last Word Leadership Podcast Studio. You have the last word.